Hello guys, have you ever thought about in your applications to implement the undo button whenever something is deleted? Like for example in Gmail. You probably have seen if you delete an email there's an undo link. And also I've seen that tip recently on Twitter. There's a Twitter thread 50 UI tips and one of the tip is do not do the confirmation dialog, instead provide the undo link. Which is kind of achieves a similar thing or the same thing but without extra click to confirm. Because in rare cases people accidentally click delete, in most cases they know what you're doing. And even if they misclick they can do the undo. So let's implement that in our Laravel project. I have a demo Laravel project partly generated by our quick admin panel generator. So you can go to quickadminpanel.com to generate something like that. But we will customize the delete button. And I will show you step by step what do I do here with soft deletes. So first the default behavior, if we go to our index blade of that form, there's a form to destroy the project by project ID with on submit, return confirm, are you sure? It's translated with global translations. So it's a hidden form behind that button of delete. And if you click that, then it doesn't just delete the record. I've customized it to perform like this. So you see the message project deleted successfully, which will appear only once immediately after the delete with a link whoops undo. And if you click that whoops undo, then the record is restored like it was never deleted. Of course, it uses soft deletes eloquent function behind the scenes, but how it is all implemented? Let's dive into the code. In the model, in the project model, we have use soft deletes. And of course, in the migration, you need to add soft deletes as well. So that's the foundation. Then you use soft deletes and whenever you call project delete, like in this case, then it's not actually deleted, it is soft deleted in the database, which means the deleted add field is filled with value of now, so when it was deleted. And then it is filtered everywhere. If you take the project, it would not show the deleted records, unless you specify specifically that you want the deleted records, which we will do in a minute. So first, how it works in the blade. So in the blade, we have a form of destroying the project, which is part of route resource, typical route resource controller, method post, and on submit, we confirm that we really want to delete. And in a minute, we will delete that on submit in favor of doing the undo. So then that route admin project destroy, which is part of route resource here, it is in the project controller destroy. It uses route model binding, it checks the permissions, and then it soft deletes the project. And then the trick here is to redirect to the route, which is route back with message. And then message becomes a session variable. And inside of that message, you put HTML code. HTML code of project deleted successfully with the link to the specific route of admin projects restore with what projects to restore. And then in the index blade, on top, before the table, you have this. So if session message exists, which will exist only for one page for with message this, then you show that message with specifically HTML syntax, which wouldn't really transform HTML, wouldn't escape that, and would provide the link. That link is to the route, a specific route, which is outside of route resource, single route of projects ID restore with name of projects restore. That name, the full name is admin.projects.restore because the route group has as admin here. An important thing that route get or any specific route get or route post should come before the route resource to avoid the routes conflict. And then inside of that restore, we do what? So restore project ID, first check the permissions again, and then we find the project, the deleted project. And this is really important with trashed. So we need to include the trashed, the deleted records, and then we can find it. And then if we find the project, and if the project is trashed, so Eloquent has that method for us, then we call another method of project restore, and then we redirect back with a simple text-based message without any link anymore, because the record is successfully restored. So this is a simple example of soft deletes, but with emphasis on the fact that probably the most typical way to restore the record, the most typical time is immediately after deleting when the person changes their mind or just misclick something. So now we can safely delete in our index blade. We can safely delete that on submit because the record could be easily restored 
by user themselves or in worst case scenario they can contact the developer or someone who has the access to the database to restore it manually so let's repeat that again this time without any confirmation but we can do whoops undo and restore the method easily if you want more quick tips like this one i'm shooting daily videos on this channel now and you can support me on my mission by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen including that quick admin panel com generator which generates similar quick admin panel and subscribe to the channel to have new updates and new videos and see you guys in other videos